Hey, I'm Rat. I'm the editor for FF and an addicted parkour reborn player. You probably don't know me, but that's not important. I know you're only here for this. So what was that? Where did it come from? How long has it existed? How does it work? Well, let's get into it. You might know this move by many names, but let's just set those aside for a second and get into the history. This move was originally discovered by me in early January. Here's some proof of that so you know I'm not just making it up. If you have earlier clips than this, I'll gladly denounce myself as the creator, but for now, I am. I first discovered this trick on accident while trying to safety land and begin a slide on a slope at the same time, but suddenly gained a bunch of speed. After experimenting with it a little, I came up with the move's original name, SSX. This name is both an acronym standing for Slope Slide Accelerator, and a homage to my favorite snowboarding game of all time, SSX Tricky. I started experimenting pretty much as soon as I found it, but I could never really get it to do anything particularly special, so I showed it to a couple of people in the FF Discord server, and then brushed it off as just another silly bug, and kind of forgot about it. I realized I had been too quick to judge it after I began to see clips of it being used to get ridiculously fast times on the Celsius time trial via a wall bounce straight to the finish line. One of the first of these clips was from Foamy, one of the first people I ever showed the move to. I'm unsure if Foamy is the one who used it this way first, but she's definitely the first one I saw do it. It was really cool to see a tech I created get used in a world record run, and after these clips started releasing, that's when the move really blew up. I began to see lots of people actually using it in-game. People were using it on nearly every time trial, and all of a sudden, the game got a whole lot faster. Primarily, SSX works in a similar vein to slide boosting, using the small bit of velocity that's instantly gained upon sliding in order to accelerate quickly. However, unlike slide boosting, SSX relies entirely on slopes to operate. In Reborn, players can begin a slide on a slope at any time by pressing and holding down move. This slide can be cancelled by letting go of down move. However, the developers of Reborn hilariously forgot to add a delay to when the slide can be cancelled. So by repeatedly tapping down move, the player can stack multiple of that little chunk of velocity as fast as they can mash that button. Because of this, SSX is extremely simple to perform. Stand on a slope, hold the movement key, and begin to mash down move. If pressed quickly, the player will gain more velocity faster, but is unable to go up or down the slope while executing the move. When mashing slower, the player can move up and down the slope with ease. Most players will opt to mash as fast as possible and stick to moving mostly horizontal on the slope. Because of this move being entirely reliant on pressing a single button as fast as possible, macros are extremely common with SSX. Macros and auto clickers increase the amount of velocity a player can gain by a hilarious amount. While using a macro, even just a solar panel is enough to gain a considerable amount of speed. You can see this use of a solar panel on certain runs of the glass time trial, where it's used to launch directly to the end to get times as low as 4 seconds. Speaking of macros, here's a little gift for making it to the end of the video. Shown on screen and linked in the description is an auto hotkey macro I wrote specifically for this move. It's toggled on and off with F7 and activated by holding left shift. So get out and have fun with this tech before it's inevitably removed.